Well, my friends, someone reminded me in this morning's, or this afternoon's vlog, I should say. <laughs> I always get it confused. Anyway, someone reminded me to check on this caulk saver to see if it worked. Well, this barely has anything in it, so if this worked, it saved a tiny amount, about like that much. But that's even better test, I think. Now, it did split out the uh, thing here. I must have spun it in too far, and that might have been its downfall. Let me get my hand free here so we can unscrew this on camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this in here first and then see if it uh, actually squeezes anything out. I'll just squeeze it up like that. Okay, it's right on the edge of, of getting tight here. So let's undo this and let's see if the caulk is still soft or is it hard. Yeah, it's hard, I think. Well, it's coming out. I'll be darned, it actually is coming out soft. And I have a use for this, so I'm gonna go use it. Um, darn it, I don't wanna lose it, but come with me real quick. I'm working on putting the new solar thing on the top of my Ranger, and I'm going to put it on there with, well, with this board, and I think the caulk is going to be the thing that's going to seal it of course now I can't get it to go there it goes all right here we go oh my gosh nothing's ever simple trying to do everything with one hand it's brown and the roof is black but my color blind eyes won't be able to tell the difference so you guys might not want to look at it Just putting a lot of, might as well, might as well use all this up because it ain't, ain't much of it left. I take it back, might be able to use it on the other, other one if I still have some left. But that actually, the caulk saver actually surprised me. It did actually work and there was nothing hard came out. Nothing hard came out at all. It was all soft. So from that standpoint, it worked. Now let's put this up here on top of the roof. Uh, gee whiz. I thought the ladder was where it was supposed to be, but obviously not. Oh my goodness. There's nothing simple when I do it. Like nothing. So we're going to put that right there. And hopefully that will uh, stay there. This big solar panel will attach to that, and it'll attach in the back also. I'm gonna pull this forward just a little bit. I think I've got it straight, but there's no good way to tell. I'm just lining it up with this little indention here a little bit. Just trying to get it as close to straight as I can get it. And I think I'll just let the caulk get hard now. I'll go ahead and get this one in place in the back end and then I'll finish this in the morning. Okay, I think we've got her ready to go and let her, we'll just let her sit still overnight. Uh, I found those two jacks were handy and so I just set them on the each end of that back stick and I got this heavy weight on the front of this one. Those are, you know, heavy enough to keep the caulk still and and uh, I think the caulk will stick it in place. I've already run the wire down, down through here and under, and here is the other end of the wire. All right, so basically we just connect these two points up. And isn't that funny? Because a while ago when I did that, the lights came on. Now, of course, on camera, it's not doing that. Oh, I know why it's not working. I've got that, I've got the solar panel covered with that white paper up there, because otherwise it would be working off that light. That's why it's not working. And that's okay. I don't, it doesn't need to work. I just was gonna show you, but we'll show you tomorrow once we uh, get her, the rest of the connections made. Well, my friends, it's the next morning and hopefully the caulk has set up and I can take these weights off.
Now I can uh, position this, drill through, and put some bolts through this to hold it, and that'll hold everything in place really well. Probably didn't really have to have the caulk, but I think it's a good idea overall. Okay, we're up on top of the uh, Ranger now, and I've got these screws, um, and I used these on the previous uh, solar panel, and they worked well. They're stainless steel type screw. So I'm just going to drill through all of this now. And then I can run the bolt down through. I've got a washer on this. We'll put uh, wing nuts on the inside. So now we will uh, go down and put the wing nuts on. Well, you can see that that's completely hooked up now. Everything's connected down here as well, but this is flashing like crazy. On camera, I don't even think you can see it. Yeah, it's flashing like crazy. It's flashing even faster than it shows on screen. I don't get why that's doing that. Guess I'll just have to get the instructions and see what's causing that. Maybe because it's indoors here. Maybe that LED light's not enough to make it work. I'll drive it outside and see if that changes anything. Well, I've got her parked outside now, and that seems to have been the issue. It's not flashing now. Of course, now it might be flashing on the camera screen because most LED things flash. But uh, looks pretty good. It says it's flashing at 75%, and it's on AGM, which is correct. That's the kind of battery we have. It's flashing at 75%. I'm curious to see if that will go up to 100% if we leave it out here in the sun. We'll find out, won't we? We'll come back in a little while. Well, my friends, I would say it's been 15 to 20 minutes and it was flashing on 75. Guess what? Now it's flashing on 100. Can you see that? Flashing on 100. So... That's pretty good. I'm impressed, especially with two batteries. I like that. This, uh, for the record, is a 50-watt solar charger. So that's pretty good. You know, most of them are a lot less than that. The one I had before was a 25, and that was pretty good also. But I'm real happy with this. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.